I saw this tweet earlier that said, go on to Andrew Tate's Instagram right now and look at how many people you know that follow him. And I was like, oh yeah, there's probably people that I know that follow him. And I've always found it interesting that like, you know, those really big accounts, I get that they have followings, but I've never understood like, who actually follows them, you know? Like for example, Kim Kardashian, she has a following, everyone knows who she is, but I've never understood the people that actually like follow her on her social medias. I'm like, who actually wants to keep up with the Kardashian, you know? But nevertheless, I was curious who I follow that follows Andrew Tate, so I did do that. I went on Instagram and I looked and I found out that four people Four of my mutuals follow Andrew Tate. And honestly, what I found wasn't that shocking. The four people that follow Andrew Tate that are mutuals with me are high value men. It actually would make less sense if they weren't following him. And like the nosy Nelly I am. Yeah, that's right. It's not just for show. It actually does something. I would hope so. Look how big it is. I started scrolling Andrew Tate's Instagram and immediately one thing popped out at me and that was the length of Andrew Tate's Instagram captions. They are long. And you know what they say about people with long Instagram captions? <laughs> yeah. They need therapy. Like, look at this one, for example. It's a picture of him with one of his cars, and it says, I hate that I just said one of his cars. Like, I don't even like that I know that much about him. But I visit his page one time, and Instagram suddenly thinks I like that. So they start shoving his bald head down my throat, and everything I learn about this man is against my will. But you can see in this post, he's standing next to one of his cars, and the caption is, Chess is life. The king's limited movement in chess represents limitations in life as a man. A queen has unlimited movement because of her beauty. Party on a yacht? You gotta earn it. One square at a time. A queen jumps, jumps on the board. What? So Andrew Tate is like a very good chess player. But what the fuck? <laughs> this is like a guy with a hobby and he just uses his hobby as an analogy for everything else. Life is like a game of chess. There's only so many places you can go. Life is like a game of chess. Even when you throw the board up in frustration, someone's still gotta pick up all the fallen pieces. Life is like a game of chess. There's always a winner and a loser. Which, in my eyes, there's actually only losers. It's people that play chess, because who would wanna play that game? But yeah, you can tell that he really likes chess. <laughs> and so in probably all of his conversations, he just shoehorns chess in there because that's all he knows. That's what people with no hobbies do. They just take the things they know and they're like, well, this is, what I'll talk about now. Like when he's having sex, which apparently he has a lot of, he probably says something like, ooh, you purr like a Bugatti. And the girl's probably like, what the fuck did you just say? Like, <laughs> just compare me to a Bugatti? What the fuck? <laughs> but that's all he knows. So he's gonna say weird shit like that. Cushion my fall with your airbags. <laughs> Damn girl, if I'm not going fast enough at a green light, honk my horn. Honk my horn, baby! Anyways. The takeaway is that a lot of Andrew Tate's captions are long, but it didn't take me long in scrolling his post to find out that, oh, there's two of them. Andrew Tate has a brother. Did anyone else know this? There's two of them. <laughs> Which I guess makes sense with Sith, there's always two, you know? Did this guy just make a Star Wars joke criticizing Andrew Tate? Yeah, okay, shut up. I told you, people make analogies about what they know. I know Star Wars, he knows chess. Okay, we're both nerds in our own respect. Shut up. Anyways, I learned that Andrew Tate has a brother named Tristan Tate. This is his Instagram right here. And I started scrolling his posts too, and I found one glaringly obvious difference between Andrew and Tristan. Their caption size. Andrew's captions, they're huge, right? They're huge and confusing. Tristan's, they're a nice change of pace. See, Tristan's captions are just short and dumb. Here's one example, uh, him, you know, taking a zesty pool shot and the caption is, I do not sleep. I hate those little slices of death. What? <laughs> hey, uh, Tristan, you know you need those little slices of death to live, bud. Ideally, you would take one big chunk of death to keep living. You kind of, you kind of need that. But it's all about that hustle culture, you know? Anytime you're not working, you're spending being a fucking loser. <laughs> I don't know if you've been to Tristan's page or if you will pay him a visit, so just let me tell you straight up that if you're not working, you suck. Here's another post of Tristan's and the caption is, my lips plant brutal kisses. They don't whisper sweet words. What the fuck does that mean? I couldn't even begin to tell you. I took AP Lit in high school, did a lot of, you know, analysis of figurative language. Uh, yeah, and I can't figure out what the fuck this language is, you know? <laughs> My lips plant brutal kisses. Okay, ooh. He's one of those guys who gives like really aggressive French kisses when he first meets you. Ugh. They don't whisper sweet words. 
That that sounds very abrasive. That <laughs> he sounds like he's a sandpaper lover, you know? He's aggressive with his kisses and he doesn't whisper sweet words. Which either means he whispers mean words or he screams sweet words. Both bad in their own regards. <laughs> Okay, so this caption is a little longer, so you can tell he probably reads it at least a fourth grade level. But I wanted to pick this picture just because it looks like he's um, evil Disney villain, you know? <laughs> like the prince that goes bad. But the caption here is, There are two ways of seeing, with the body and with the soul. The body sight can sometimes forget, but the soul remembers forever. This is like a caption of a high school girl that just got broken up with. Also, why does it look like he's standing in front of a green screen? What, what, what is that? <laughs> I love this one just because of how obvious it is. It takes money to look this rich. Yeah. I, no one's gonna write, what? <laughs> people like me know how to survive. Well, people that are alive? Yeah, that means they know how to, what, what are you talking, what is this, Tristan? What are you doing? <laughs> also, one thing you'll notice with both of the Tate brothers is that no matter what their picture is, their caption doesn't address it. Their Instagrams are just like shitty poetry books. There's some vague ass caption with some just irrelevant picture. Their posts are less rupee car and more like, uh, I have a car, you know? If I can't have it all, then nobody will. This guy, this guy sucked at birthday parties, I bet. <laughs> they all sing him happy birthday around his cake and everyone's like, ooh, blow out the candles. And they start cutting it up. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, yo, my man. Talking to his mom. Hey, yo, my man, what are you doing? She's like, oh, well, Tristan, we're cutting up the cake. To give all the kids a slice. And he's like, no, no, no. If I can't have it all, then nobody will, okay? <laughs> you know, people prank people by like shoving their face in the cake. He just does it voluntarily to claim the whole cake as his own. <laughs> no one ever died from wanting too much. Didn't some lady die because she wanted a wee really badly? So, millionaires fill their private jet with hoes, but my secretary, she's a good girl. Yeah, no, this is probably gonna come up in court later. Anyways, I just found out that Andrew Tate has a brother, and I didn't want to deal with that alone, so I wanted to bring you along with me. And I basically just wanted to show you all that, as weird as you probably think Andrew is, just know that there's a weirder one of him. Every time you whisper my name, I want to run to you. I dare you to whisper his name three times in a mirror, see what happens. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And remember, glory is fleeting, but obscurity is forever. <sighs> yeah, I don't know either.